Hey guys, in this video I'm going to walk you through my Lightroom workflow for processing a photo of an empty industrial warehouse. So this photo was taken for an architecture firm that wanted photos of a building they designed and had built. They didn't want anything fancy and they needed a pretty short turnaround. So normally I would take bracketed exposures so I could balance the ambient light with the windows and the fluorescent lights during post-processing. But I needed to get it done fast, and I knew I could underexpose the photo slightly and bring back the detail I needed in Lightroom. So I'm going to show you how I process the original dark image using only the settings in the basic panel in Lightroom. So first I want to adjust the overall exposure so it's not so dark. So I'm going to increase the exposure to about plus one. Now an empty warehouse is usually cold and uninviting no matter what, so I wanted to warm it up just a tiny bit. So I'm going to increase the white balance from 4000 to just over 4100. Now to make this photo more dynamic and interesting, I'm going to use one of my favorite sliders in Lightroom and increase the clarity to about 65. And already it's looking a lot better, but I want to bring out some of the details in the shadows and the highlights. So first I'm going to take the highlights down to about negative 15 and that's going to darken just the very brightest parts of the image so they're not blown out so much. And it's almost unnoticeable by itself but when you make a lot of subtle changes they add up to a lot in the end. So next I'll take the shadows up to about 60 and that will bring back some of the details in the ceiling beams and other dark areas. Since I darken the lightest parts of the image and lighten the darkest parts, I want to restore some of that interesting contrast. So I'll increase the whites to about 20, and then I'll bring down the blacks to about negative 20. And that's really it. You can see in just a few minutes, and using only the settings in the basic panel, how you can take a pretty dark and boring photo and turn it into something that could be right at home in some kind of industrial catalog or on a website or something. So let me know what you think in the comments, and if you liked this walkthrough, subscribe on YouTube or sign up to our email newsletter to get an email when we post new tutorials. I'm John Shaver for Shutter Suites. Thanks for watching.